Hey, this is Seth from HowToRunABand.com, and this is uh, episode number 26 of Work Hard, Rock Harder. Uh, it's going to be a short and sweet one because I am freaking tired. Just got through with a webinar about uh, get more shows and booking strategies, and fun time. It will be available on my website for you to purchase if you are so inclined, but that's not why I'm here today. I just, I'm freaking tired. So I stayed up at like four in the morning doing, putting together that webinar. So this is going to be a short and sweet, no frills. I'm not even going to put my special effects whiteboard up. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's going to be no intro, outro music. This is going to be short and sweet to the point, and yeah, it's probably only going to be 10 minutes long. But during the webinar, uh, Zachary, he asked uh, about, he says he's got a small band and he's about to play three shows next month and how the best way he can capitalize on those three shows with his band. So I'm going to go over some tips and tricks real quick and hopefully you can follow along and hopefully I can stay awake long enough in order to do this. Okay. So how to best capitalize on shows. First step is be friendly. So yeah, you just go out and talk to the audience, talk to people and be happy. Put a smile on your face because being a grumpy little, eh, that doesn't help. Right? That chases people away. Be happy, be friendly, shake some hands and say thank you to everybody that has come out to the show. I mean, personally, go up and shake hands and say thank you to that one person, each person individually and just go and try to start conversations with people. Be friendly, work the room. This is a hard thing for me. I'm trying to learn the same things myself, but work the room, do it. You got to break out of your shell. If you're shy, break out of it. Take little baby steps. Just say meet one person. Just just easy thing to say hi to every single person in the room. That's it. Don't do anything else. Just in your brain say, I'm only going to say hi to every single person there. You'll be surprised at the conversations. The simple word hi will start you with. So, uh, I already know to shake hands. And, uh, oh, oh, the pocket friendly freebie. And that's... Not like a, that sounds like a, a sexual thing, doesn't it? A pocket friendly freebie? Woo! I'm a little bit uh, uh, punch drunk here. So, uh, <laughs> what I mean by a pocket friendly freebie? Um, <laughs> okay, I'm not editing anything, so you're getting all that silly giggliness in there. Um, get a business card. A business card that has your band's information on it and a link to download something for free, like a download card or something you can give away for your friend the two people at the club. The, the reason you want to do this is it's something that can fit into their pocket, so you know they don't forget it. They don't have to. They won't leave it sitting around. They won't have to worry about carrying shit all night. Uh, they'll wake up the next day and you know their stuff might go through their uh, <laughs> laundry basket. You know, whatever you can't help that, but they might check their pocket. And see the, your band's name and be like, oh, yeah, they gave me some free shit. So go on, they download their stuff. They send up to your Facebook page. They know how to get in contact with you at, later. Uh, usually people, and especially if you're playing bars, they're getting drunk. They, don't, they won't remember who your freaking band is. So, you know, you got to work past their drunk, play to their strengths, put something in their pocket. <laughs> be pocket friendly. But <laughs> in a music marketing way, not in that way, you dirty, dirty, dirty person. <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying before, yeah, make new friends, meet new people. Sometimes people, they just try to flock with the people they already know. Don't do that. Uh, sometimes you just want to hang out with your own band, especially if the show sucked. You just want to, like, because you don't know people. You know what? Just get out there and meet someone, you know? Get, just, just one person, at least one person per show. Meet someone new. Say hi. Smile. And, uh, you know, not all people want to be talked to, so it won't be 100% successful, but try it. Do it. Get over your fear of approaching others. Make friends with the other bands. Your first fans and your most truest fans are the other bands you are playing with. In your brain, I know you're discounting those bands. Don't do that. Because bands are... the music lovers. They are the biggest music lovers. That's why they form bands. And what do you want as fans for your band? Music lovers. Bands are, other bands are just one of the most important networking, or part of your networking techniques that you should employ. So always make friends with them. Don't be dicks. Uh, don't leave shit on the stage so they're sliding around you. If you're doing some weird shit, you know, clean up after yourself. You know, don't fuck with people's equipment. You know, don't try to load out your equipment while the other band is playing because that's rude. You're rude. Don't do that. 
So, yeah, make friends with the other bands, man. Exchange some info. Try to trade some shows up. You know, work together with these bands. You know, it's about making a scene. Networking. Do it! <laughs> well, I, just, uh, well, I don't know what I'm doing right. Thank the staff. When you talk to the staff and you go up and you're doing your thing, you know, if you're getting a drink, whatever, yeah, talk to them, smile, say thank you, appreciate them. The person that's getting your money, you know, or doing the door, it's a thankless job. Bar backing is a thankless job. Booking is a thankless job. Thank them. Let them know that you really appreciate their efforts. Thank you, especially if, you know, it's a dead night, you know, and you didn't bring them enough business. That's how these people are paid. By how many people you brought in. So if you didn't bring in that many people, especially be nice. Be very, very thankful. And, you know, realizing that their time is money. And, you know, they're not there to serve you. <laughs> You're, as a band, trying to bring business to the club. You're serving them. So... Some people can disagree with you on that point, but you know what? I'm trying to keep this short and simple, so we will put that in another webinar. <laughs> oh, man, I am just loopy. And, uh, no, there's no MODOK. This is just wine, and don't worry, I'm not drunk. i like gotten barely any sip down to there yet, so... Uh, I'm seriously just running on, like, two hours of sleep. And that's going to help me get to sleep right after I hit stop on this. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, um, including being nice to the staff is just tipping the bartender. You know, tip the people that serve you drinks. You know, fuck, tip the door guy. It's an unrewarding job. You know, give some tips, show some love. That's what good customers do. If you get that free beer for your band, throw in a dollar after you get your free complimentary beer for your band. I know you consider it part of your pay for doing the show. Still, tip. The thing is about getting more shows, making good connections, and you know, getting on everyone's good list you want to be on the good list you want to be on that's the band we should contact list not the those guys suck in their assholes list you don't want that so be, you know what my cat would pick now to like just go crazy in her litter box so if you hear any crazy scratching in the background it's my cat she just goes nuts she loves her litter box she just scratches in there for like 20 minutes we don't know why anyway so <laughs> i am all over the place tonight but you know whatever stick with me we'll get through this together <laughs> Sorry, the webinar I just did was just two hours long, too. So I'm like, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm insane. Another thing you can do to really capitalize on your stuff is stick with your merch booth. Have at least one band member who's always by the merch booth. So that way, when somebody is wanting to... Uh, oh, shut that door. Damn cat. <laughs> anyway, uh, so when someone's by the... Um, Always have someone by the merch booth, so that way when people want to talk to you or get some stuff or, you know, sign up for your email list, there's someone there to talk to. And even if they don't buy anything, at least you can say hi, engage people. If they're coming by to look at your merch booth, they're somewhat interested in your band and the stuff that you have. So reach out to them, you know, make them a new fan. Give them a little freebie. You got a sticker or something else, just give them to them. Make them happy. A uh, little psychological tip, if you give a free gift to someone, then uh, they feel psychologically uh, but they have to give you something back in return. So that's a cool little psychological trick. Don't abuse it. Last. Stay until the last moment. See a lot of bands, they just ditch out right after their show. Don't do that. Stay until the last moment because that's, you can make your sales in that last 10 minutes. That's when people are cashing out their tab and like, oh, you know, what did that band see? <laughs> and then, you know, that's, that, that's sometimes where you get your money. That's and that's that one dedicated fan who was really into. There's so many times I've been in a place and you know last call's called and then I get ready to go and I want to pick up the band stuff. They're nowhere to be found. So stick by your merch booth and stay until the bitter end. Even though it sucks for you, that's your job. Yes, music is a business. If you want to make money, if you want to make connections, you have to treat your band like a business. Yes, have fun, but also focus on the business aspect of it you can do it i have faith in you if you want to be a successful musician these are the things you'll need to do now here's some behavior to avoid jeez i'm gonna hate myself for putting this episode out but you're all gonna get the silliness it's all for you behavior to avoid don't be late Always know when the booker wants you to arrive and load in your equipment and don't be a prima donna and come in late. Especially since most lineups aren't pretty much set in stone. So get there early so that way you know what the dealio is and you're not pissing anyone off because they had to go on early because you didn't show up and wanted to be a prima donna. Don't do that. Everyone hates it. Sound guy hates it. Sound guy or sound person. 
Uh, sound person, not I gotta watch my gender neutral stuff. Don't be an asshole. Don't be dicks. Don't yell at people. Don't yell about the sound. Don't complain and bitch about the service. Don't bitch. Don't be assholes. Don't. You're not fucking rock stars. If you're fucking rock stars, you probably wouldn't be listening to me right now. So don't be dicks. Be awesome. Be happy. Nobody likes dicks. Nobody wants to book dicks again back at your club. All right. Not unless it's a dick club. So if you have, if that's your band, you play dick things, and that's all it is is dicks. Then hey, you know, stick with your dicks. But honestly, yeah, seriously, don't be a dick. <laughs> rehearse. Fucking rehearse. There's so many bands that see it like, oh, dear, whatever, we never get together to rehearse. It's just, and you sound like shit. You don't know what you're doing. You're not tight on stage. When you rehearse, you get your shit like second nature. So you're not worried about playing the music on stage. What you're worried about is entertaining the audience. So that's what rehearsing does. It gets you tight so you don't think about the stuff that you're playing. Instead, you're thinking of how to engage with people. And that is definitely capitalizing on your current audience. So yeah, keep that in mind. Fucking keep tight. Don't sound like shit. Because if you sound like shit, you're not going to be making new fans. No one's going to want to hear you again. They're not going to want to book you again if you sound like shit. That's no good. But if you do sound like shit, make sure you are funny and entertaining. You got to compensate, you know? If you sound like shit, be really entertaining. Very entertaining. <laughs> And that's the thing about being entertaining. If there's only one person in the audience, even if there's zero people in the audience, you must give it 120%. Because that's how you get new fans. You get those one, that one person. Even if there's zero people, you're rehearsing to be the best band in the fucking universe. So you go and you impress the hell out of the staff, the booker. Just, oh, you give it one, you don't bitch about the audience, you don't, you just give it your all, be passionate, do your fucking music, this is what you're there for, I mean, what the fuck else, you already drove out there, you're already at the club, don't be a bitch, don't be a dick, give 120%, man, break a sweat, just pretend it's like the last show in the universe, that's what every show should be, your last freaking show in the universe, give it everything that you got, and entertain the hell out of that one drunk idiot who can't remember his own name. Entertain that person. Don't give them a ride home. Usually they get sick in the van. But entertain them. Yeah, so, yeah, I see a lot of bands. They just, even no one's there, you know. You do it, do it. I've played shows where it's just been dead. Just do it. Entertain it. Even if you don't want to, just find that little thing. Pretend it's a fucking crowded arena. Find that little piece of yourself. Just learn how to do that. Because if you can learn how to do it in the worst of situations, you can fully excel in the best of situations. And you know how to capitalize it, even the smallest amount of... Everything is an opportunity. If you look as, at everything as an opportunity, then there are no bad shows. Every show is just a great opportunity to improve. So, uh, yeah, and that one person in the audience could be your best fan ever that gets 200 people to your audience. Think about that. Do it. Stick with it. And that one person could be like... The one fan that's going to be giving you thousands of dollars over the next few years. I'm not lying. People will shell out money if they love you. So, yeah, fucking even one person. Don't take it for granted. And a couple other little things I'm about to finish up really quick because I'm about to go insane and fall asleep right here. And, uh, yeah, that'd be a really long recording then if I just fell asleep. It'd just be me snoring, but hey. Uh, don't bitch about the lineup. If you're playing last, if you're playing first, you do whatever. Just don't bitch. Get there and go, yes, and then play. You know, if you had the leverage, if you were such a rock star that you completely sold the place out, sure, you can say, you know what, we're playing at this slot. That's what we do. But still, you shouldn't be a dick. Even I guess you can negotiate your lineup, but that should be done way before the show. It shouldn't be done at the show. And you know what, just say Yes. You make the life of the booker easy. Don't say, because eh, uh, bands are always finagling and always doing all this shit. And like, oh, can we go here? All oh, our singers to wake up in the morning. Dude, everyone's member of everyone's band has to wake up in the morning. Your band is not special about someone needing to wake up in the morning. They are not. My guitarist has to wake up at five in the morning on Saturdays and we play Friday nights. Fuck you if you think you're special. You're not. Just get the lack of sleep, you know? What the hell? Two hours of sleep, get up and go and do your job. Jerk offs. <laughs> and the other thing is, don't bitch about the audience on the stage. If there's no one in there, pretend it's the best audience on the planet. 
Don't bitch about that on Tuesday. Like, oh, no one's here. You know, fuck it. You know, you just no one here. Today. You sound like little whiny bastards. Fucking entertain those. Trend, it, it's a fucking stadium, man. Present that one person is just thousands of people. And you're having the best concert of your life. Do it. You gotta trick your brain. Trick it. Close your eyes for a second. See the thousands of people play. Do it. Makes you feel better. And have fun. Smile. Even if you know it's a shitty show, smile. Have fun. Go with it, man. Let your enthusiasm show through. I had one show once where I was, you know, didn't think there was anyone there, and then you know, just started playing and getting into it, and then all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, people flocked in. I don't know how. Don't know where they came from, but you know. You sound good, you rehearse, and you're not an asshole. Good shit happens. And I'm guilty of this next point. Don't get thrashed drunk, especially before you play. Before you play, even though you think you're sounding great, you know, just like stoners always think they're more creative when they're stoned, you don't sound so good. I know because I thought I sounded better, but I had video footage to prove otherwise. I sounded like shit. Oh, horrible, 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 horrible shit. And uh, so, yeah, um, know your limits. You have one or two beers before. Eh, whatever. You know, know your limits. But don't get thrashed drunk and then just play like shit. You know, you might think it's cool. It's that rock and roll thing. Not so cool. Especially if you sound like shit and you're turning people off. You know, there's some bands like, that's how we play. You know, eh, whatever. You're, you're, you're going to have to go get treatment in the next five to ten years, so, yup, <laughs> but it's also after the show, that's the thing, everybody wants to go and they belly up to the bar and they don't meet new fans, they don't meet people and they don't, you know, talk to people, they just belly up to the bar and they start getting drunk and then you get drunk, you forget your equipment, you act like a dick, you are falling off the bar stool, I would have never fallen off the bar stool. Uh, other things, you know, you can't drive drunk, so you shouldn't get drunk because you have to drive all your equipment and you might kill someone, all that good stuff. And even if you're not driving, you know, fucking, you need to, it's your business. You know, you're not supposed to get drunk at your job. There's a reason for that because you can't do your job when you're drunk. And your job isn't just playing a show on stage. It's about fucking getting out there, meeting people, making connections, selling merch, fucking... All those good things. Roll it up once. Don't get drunk. Don't get trashed. Got one more. And then I'm going to leave early. And I think it goes with a, a point I said earlier is stay until the last moment with your merch. Don't leave early. Leaving early. Um, what I mean by that is like some bands, like they play their show and then it's like as soon as they loaded up their gear after playing the show, they're like, I'm out. They don't stick around for the other bands. They just bitch out fast. I mean, sometimes it's understandable if the singer actually does have to wake up at 5 in the morning or something. Cool. After you play your shit, you know, head out if you have to. But you know, at least one representative of the band should stay there and stay until the last painful moment. Especially don't load out your gear while another band is playing. Or load in your gear while another band is playing. That's rude. The band sees you. That's just being a dickhead because you distract everyone seeing you load all crap in while another band is playing. You're being a dick. Don't do that. You look douchebaggy. It looks like you're like, eh, I don't need to pay attention to any of these other bands. It's me. I got to load in my shit. Get out of the way, everybody. Yeah, just, fuck you. All right, don't do that. It makes you look pretentious. It makes you look obnoxious. You don't want to do either. And those are my quick tips to capitalize on your shows. If you're a small band, you got some shows coming up. My name is Chris Seth Jackson. This is episode number 26 of Work Hard, Rock Harder. And go to howtorunaband.com and you can get a free ebook. I'll get more fans to your shows. Just sign up to the email list. You want to sign up to the email list. Do it. Do it. And I'm out.